Russian forces conducted a series of drone strikes across Ukraine for two nights in a row, likely in a demonstrative response to the 2023 NATO summit in Vilnius and to threaten the Black Sea grain deal. Meanwhile, Ukrainian forces continue the counteroffensive operations on at least three sectors of the front, which is here, here and in this area, and made gains in some of these areas. Now, this time, let's take a closer look at the south of Ukraine. The Ukrainian general staff reported that Ukrainian forces continue defensive operations in western Zaporizhia area. It's this part of the region. The Institute for the Study of War says geolocated footage published shows Ukrainian advances northeast of Robotino. Robotino is right here, about 15 kilometers south of now, Kremlin-affiliated mill bloggers claimed that Ukrainian forces were able to advance in the Robotina vicinity because they attacked a frontline area where Russian forces had the least number of Russian mines and fewer fortifications. Now, let's go a little bit towards east and to the administrative border between the regions of Zaporizhia and Donetsk in this area. Here, Russian and Ukrainian forces continued ground attacks along this administrative border with Ukrainian forces pushing. The Ukrainian general staff reported that Ukrainian forces continued offensive operations in this direction towards Berdyansk. The Institute for the Study of War says Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu attempted to portray the Ukrainian counteroffensive as a failed effort against the backdrop of the NATO summit in Vilnius.